Bruce thing. We're gonna sit tight and see if we can catch these birds coming by, but pretty excited being out here for the first time. I'm with my good friend Stu, who I always uh, grew up deer hunting with, who I'll talk about more later. Let's say hi, Stu. He's got like a white head. He's looking this way. He's all on, dude.
Good shot. Smoked him. Good shot, baby. Yes. <laughs> across and then all of a sudden what five minutes later yeah he's still right there the other time's still right there no kidding yeah five minutes later we hear another one come and i see two they come right through the gate and Stu uh, put a great shot on uh on the bigger one so man what a rush it got exciting there after 10 o'clock I can't believe that just happened. That's really funny because my buddy just texted me going, do you smoke one yet? <laughs> and like literally I text him like, dude, there's one like 10 yards behind us but we can't see him and then next thing you know. Think about it. 25 yard shot? Yeah. 30 yard Maybe shot? 30. Who's a little chicken? Oh my gosh. Okay, it's got some nice spurs. Let's see that. Yeah, not too bad. My little two year old. color in the head. Let's see the fan. Let's see that fan. There we go. Very nice. Oh, that was a heck of a morning. How slow was it in the beginning? Dude, I didn't think we were gonna get it done. It was. Not till probably 10 a.m. that we heard something. And uh, I was worried seeing them every day on the camera. I can't believe it took so long for us to hear something. And uh, got lucky, dude. There's, they were everywhere. Like, it's seriously, like, come pretty much like 10.30. Yeah. 10.30, Man. yeah, there's Here. gobblers everywhere. Everywhere, phone calls. It was just a little too cold. Oh, yeah. First thing this morning. That one with the white head would have been cool. <laughs> yeah. That first cobbler was a big one. Well, guys, that is the uh, not only the first hunt on the farm, it's the first animal on the farm, it's the first turkey, yeah. and I'm glad to say Stu holds the record right now. <laughs> on top of that, um, what most of you guys don't know is Stu actually brought me in on a lease, my first, uh, my first time turkey hunting out in uh, high school. And here we are 10, 15 later. I got my first bird then. 
he's getting his now and yep. and uh, it's all coming full circle so that's just a really cool uh really cool little uh history behind this that benelli man flopped <laughs> I was gonna just do a quick shot. Like I put the bead on him right away, and I was about to just yank the trigger. Yeah. And I stopped, and I felt myself flinch. No you know, kidding. I saw the bead come off the bird. And I was like, down, calm down. Use the trigger. Yeah. Pick the spot and just let him have it. Oh my gosh. Well, you did the right Sweet. thing. And you put a good shot on him. Ah, I'm so pumped. I can't wait to see what other hunts uh, we have in store for the rest of the year. Possibly one other turkey hunt later on in May, and then uh, we'll be back to planting and, and getting ready for October. So if, uh, if you guys enjoyed this, you want to see what's next, please subscribe, hit that uh, like button if you don't mind, and we'll see you soon.